Hi, this is Fred with Quality One. I'm going to try to set up a plaque today. Uh, I'm going to start with the plate size. Press the number one. I know I want it eight inches high. And number two, I want it six inches across. This is a plaque that was already set up, so I'm just kind of copying some of the dimensions. Three is at 0 0.5. Number four, I'm going to hit the equal key because I already typed that in. Now the left margin that I measured was 0.3 and 0.3. I'm going to just show you a trick. I see number 5. I'm going to divide it by 2 to make it 0.3. And number 6, hit the equal key. Alright, and now the problem is, is that this text was a lot of text. So I decided that I was going to go to Word and type it in so here's I just went to Microsoft Word and typed it all in just to see how it was gonna look now um, this one has uh, the word and in the middle and that's usually something that is not done so I'm gonna I'm gonna just change your setup just a little bit and then I'm gonna make this a, a lowercase a okay and then I can do uh, editing or see if there's any smell, spell, spelling errors which of course this has got a spelling error, error but that's his name alright so now I'm going to select all of this control A right mouse click and copy it and now I'm going to minimize it and I already opened up notepad and I'm going to edit and paste it in there this gets rid of all the word formatting and then I'm going to go File, Save, and I'm going to go to my C drive, and I'm going to just, hopefully you can see me naming it in there, but I'm going to just call it junk.txt, and I'm going to overwrite it. Obviously, if you wanted to save it, that's fine. I'll just minimize that. And now, I could start typing text in, but because I've already typed it all in, I'm going to use this control F7 which is text file to text hold down the control key hit function 7 and hit the tab key to build a tree now this building a tree may take uh, a few, anywhere from a few seconds to a, a few minutes uh, I did that before I started the job but I know I copied it into the root and I can go down to the junk which is today's date and now here's a couple things I'm gonna have the baseline is gonna be auto the maximum was 5.4 uh, I'm gonna make everything at 0.25 high Enter. and then number five I guess I can load a font because I'm gonna use Gaudi Gaudi regular and I'm gonna hit the spacebar and um, spacing and everything else should be okay and then right here it says enter to accept and import text so I'm gonna hit enter and this is what it imported uh, 12 strings import successful any key to return and then all you do is just hit escape out of here now if you go E for edit here is everything already typed in for you which this is kind of nice so but unfortunately they're all the same font and they're all the same height and um, I can't do a graphic of it but uh, I can't do a graphic of it so what I'm going to do now is I want to edit through all of these and I want to hit the space bar and I measured some of the lettering that you had so I'm gonna go alt up arrow and this one was 0 0.31 high Oops. and let me see did, did that happen I right. may have hit the wrong key spacebar 0.31 high enter the next one you do have st. Joseph's school is is at 0.25 high uh, 2010 was also at 0.25 high outstanding leadership and of course at this time you could change the font award was at 2.5 presented to you change that 
excuse me, to normal block and it was a little bit smaller so I'm using the alt and the down arrow and I'll change it to 0 0.172 enter and on the name you italicize that so I'll hit number seven I like about 11 percent slant it's just easier for me to type in and then again you had this was in normal block Oops. Number five, normal block, and it was also a little bit smaller. And this one was also at normal block, so I'm going to press the number five, hit normal block, hold the Alt key and the down arrow, and 72, and enter. This one uh, was also was in the Gaudi, but was also a little bit smaller. So I'm going to just go down to 0.22 and enter. And again, this is the one that I put the and on the next line. So I'm going to hold the Alt key, hit the down arrow, and hit enter. And this was the last line, which was in normal block, number five, normal block, Alt, down arrow. and hit enter. Now of course your plaque might be different because it's maybe a different name and it may have not been on 2010 so you just hit the you can hit the home key or the end key and come back backspace and hit the April 11th and hit enter. Of course the date may not be right so I'm going to leave it at zero just for argument's sake. And now is when you would do a graph and <clears throat> the way yours is set up, some of the lines are moved around a little bit. So you'd hit escape and you'd go control P at this point and then you may want to move these things around using the control G. And then I'll have to talk you through how to put the logo in. In the meantime, I'm going to save this. F10 and I'm going to call it um, Saint Saint underscore Joe dash P for plaque and here I'm going to put a lot of information Saint Joseph and of course you can continue typing here as much information as you want enter sure.